Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna discuss all about how to deploy our monastic project on Warsaw. Here is a project which are running on locally, but I would like to upload it on Warsaw. So let's take a look at that, how we can do that. By the way, I'm gonna change this one, hello to, hello to just show you, it is a fully functional best project guys, and I can delete it, I can uh, use, check mark to complete it yeah so i need to move on or code it in first step i'm going to stop the project reason for stopping it i just show you all of the things which are required to change it. okay this is my backend folder and this is my front end in the backend folder root directory you need to create a file one cell.json and you need to paste this code Inside the code, you need to use your entry file name like server.js. In my case, I have a server.js file. Give me a second, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, okay, as you can see, no code moon server.js, but in your case, have another file like app.js, so you need to enter on there. Right, once you did that, the next thing you need to move on dot env file, and in the env file, and also I'm gonna open the server.js file. In the env file i have used the uh, different things like i use the static password on there and when i use the connection to replace it by using process.env.password like this but when you will upload the project on Vercel, you will get the problem so i will fix it by using simple things you need to move on more db this is my current project name so i need to click to connect drivers and get your like this and i will change it in a minute i will show you everything guys okay so here is a password i need to remove it and use my own password then the next one this is a question mark but i need to use on there is my project name is uh to drive i think yeah to that, then I will use custom and then and I don't need to use that just leave the majority okay let me show you the project name is to that as you can see on my screen so I would like to copy that and I'm gonna paste on there I'm gonna remove it move on the server.js I need to remove this one just target that process.env and my database name or uh, variable name you should be use mongo db underscore you are i'm gonna save the file copy it and give me a second copy it and just paste on there let's open the terminal and we're gonna try to use npm start if we are facing problem we're gonna fix it yeah i'm getting data successfully connected means we are good to go to use it okay yeah. The next thing you should be move on the app.js file and use the course. This is very important. Use course origin static method. You should be use get post put delete page options. Allow headers content type is authorization credential is true and you can use that. This is very important, guys. You must be use that. Otherwise, you will face problem on the Warsaw. Okay, so I think we are good to go to upload the project. But before uploading the project, I need to move on the our front-end project. In the front-end project, I need to give me a second. Mm, where am I? Give me a second. I need to open there. And this is my local step so i just use empty on there i just make a copy and make a comment on there and just use it empty on there i will update it guys so guys we're gonna move on our github but before moving on the github last thing we need to check it i need to move on api and we need to check the packet.json file that is very important to check okay so one last thing you need to change it it is main 
file name is app.js but you need to change it like use server.js because this is your main entry file these changes are very important to deploy your project on Vercel okay so let me open the terminal and I'm gonna use simple command git initialize then we're gonna move on github create a repository to the demo and create a repository and we're gonna use these few commands to deploy our project on github guys right so yeah i'm gonna get that complete and branch let's copy both one time just deploy that okay once you execute these commands then you're gonna refresh your page you're able to see two folders which you have uh, built in the back end and front end so we're gonna use them to deploy our project on Vercel. Let's open the Vercel I have account. So just open it. If you don't have an account, you can create an account. Once you logged in your account, you are able to see the default page like this. You need to click a new project. First of all, I will upload my backend project. Okay, select the demo to do demo and import. Select your root directory api continue write any name i'm going to use api and select the environment variable so i'm going to move on api uh, environment variable we're going to get that but i will use it in the top place okay because i need to just get this one and my path of the database just like this click to deploy and you need to wait once you get the details from the database in the api then you can update your front end url and you will be able to see your modern stack project will be live on the server guys so let's take a time yeah that's perfect so i'm gonna open it so this is your main url after the url you need to use api for what you want to do to do yeah guys i'm getting hello description is like this in the same details which are stored in my database i'm gonna open to the cop to do to do's and select the to do the same details all right once you get it then just remove the api to do just get this one url and move on your uh task.api this is by the way front end project in the front end you need to paste it but the last thing you need to remove the backslash from there let's update the project so in order to update it i'm going to use simple command git add dot git commit man i'm going to use update url and last thing git push all right cool so let me open the vessel one more time refresh page go to continue and I'm gonna open the default page. Create a new project. Select the to do demo. And we're gonna select our client this time. Write any name as you want. So I'm gonna use to do. And just click to deploy. Don't need to change anything inside this one project. Inside the setting, just use to do and upload your. Select your client. Okay. Uh, let's open the project in the front end so I'm gonna open it and guys we are able to see our database values up here inside that so this is my main URL so I'm gonna refresh my page I can update it so I'm gonna use we are loading 
we are learning more okay just click to save database has been saved and um, let's open the this one wow and guys there we go we are learning minus take let's so add the video just use i'm full structure lover add the record where is i'm gonna refresh that uh, by the way i'm gonna refresh that by clicking the button okay guys so we are able to see i am a full stick tool so the complete application is stored on my this one url this is by the versal project the important thing and configuration is very important to deploy your project on versal the first step you should have give me a second Versal file inside the Versal file you need to select your main entry file this is a very important file the next one is move on the app.js inside there this is another important thing that you need to use it because it is cores which are control your browser all right so I hope you understood as well all about it so thank you very much for watching have a nice day